Hello all, welcome back to uh, another part of the lesson. In this lesson you can see that I've already placed the 3D cursor out here. Um, what I want to do is undo that actually. I want to shift C, center everything in the scene, and we're going to start building the hands. So let's go ahead and go to the top view. And we start building this as a separate uh, object entirely. So spacebar, add mesh, we'll add a plane. And while it's in edit mode, since that will keep the axes right here, Let's go ahead and grab and move and pull it out a little bit. Tab out of edit mode and then pull it out. And we want to kind of center that right about where the wrist is going to be. Let's maximize this viewport just to uh, add to the awe and wonder. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab and move. Just kind of put it where I need it. Scale it down. And we'll go with it right about there. Okay. I'm going to tab out edit mode, and I'm actually going to put this on a different layer. We're going to go to layer 3 to build the hand. That way we don't have a whole bunch of stuff messing with our screen. So if we tab in edit mode, we can control R, scroll up with your mouse wheel, and you can get um, your four divisions that we're going to use to create our fingers. So just do that. And this is a planar object, so there's not a whole lot going on. So we're going to add uh, divisions going this way as well. Let's add uh, two. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. If you use your mouse wheel before you uh, click on it, that's when you can change your divisions. And there we go. Let's go ahead and grab and move those. I'm going to pull them on X just a little bit closer to where the finger is going to be, and then I'm going to scale them up a little bit. Just kind of a rough rounding of the hand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to take this, uh, this edge and I'm going to pull it around as it's going to be the thumb. See? But we don't have uh, decent divisions here to actually create the thumb, so let's undo that. Instead, let's... Um, Let's go ahead and just extrude this edge out. Let's pull it out. Do some grab and move and just adjust their shape a little bit. Okay. So if you alt right click on this edge over here, we're going to extrude that out as well. Remember, this is about uh, where the body is. So let's scale that down and X down to zero. And just scale it down a little bit. Pull it back a little bit more. Maybe scale a little bit more. Let's go ahead and select all those vertices and pull it back out. Okay. I'm going to grab these two and sort of, sort of, kind of uh, start roughing in a little bit of the uh, shape of that palm area a little bit better. This shouldn't have uh, very much effect on the rest of our model right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edges. And I want to take these and hit V and split them. Actually, let's undo that. Okay, just the, just the edge one. Split that and pull it apart a little bit. Same over here and right here. This is going to be the pinky. We'll start with that. SY0. S, Y, 0. I'm scaling it on Y. Same thing with this. I'm going to do this to all of these. Just gives us something more square to work with. Okay, let's get these going on X. Scale them down to 0 on X. S, X, 0. That one looks pretty straight. I'm not going to worry about that. Scale X, 0. Just all the way down. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, so let's go to faces. Let's go that one down on Y. And let's pull it back a little bit. Rotate it a little bit. Just kind of getting a basic shape for our hand. I shouldn't have done that. There we go, because I want to scale it on Y a little bit first. Okay. Middle finger. 
or it's not the middle finger itself actually it's just the base and it looks like these are all really kind of far apart but the uh, truth is that um, we're gonna have uh, divisions going around the sides of our hands as well so it's not uh, gonna be quite as big of a gap as you might think so as a matter of fact we can actually grab these vertices and move them a little bit without affecting our model because this is actually part of the hand and these are not actually part of the fingers okay, I'm gonna leave this one okay so let's go ahead and go ahead and grab all these faces actually yeah we can do that just hit A for all and let's just rotate around and do perspective and I don't remember it being on the ground plane but oh yes it was okay because I created the top viewport without regard to its height anyway just the E to extrude that region just pull it up a little bit about like so okay let's go ahead and go to vertices because I like working with vertices a lot more than the others and I'm actually just going to grab this loop the whole loop and I'm going to scale that up on Z S Z scale it up let's also pull it down a little bit on Z working on the palm just keep doing it until you feel like it's an appropriate size and shape and let's also let's grab these three let's pull them up a little bit and basically I just want to grab both these center ones pull them up a little bit as well just want to kind of round out the top of the hand a little bit it has a slight slope to it so and we don't have and I, I missed an integral step here I, I should have added faces between these before I extruded it so it's causing me to actually go back and do a little bit of deletion and remaking of faces here so let's go ahead and get that done grabbing all those faces on the inside X faces go to edges and put a face there and just do it all the way around for both or for uh, in between all these knuckles and the palm F is our hotkey for creating face just selecting those edges holding shift okay there we go so let's go ahead and return to the top view I'm gonna turn this one out a little bit more and that seems okay now then all of these um, don't have uh, well it doesn't have a lot of things really uh, it doesn't have enough divisions for one to uh, I'm sorry what am I doing there we go it doesn't have enough divisions uh, to define these fingers yet but uh, we're still working on the palm so I've got that right under where the knuckles are or that where the fingers are going to be leaving the hand I'm gonna pull that down a little bit on Z to add a little bit more girth there that might be a little bit too much there we go okay so I want to grab this back loop right here the whole thing and let's go ahead actually let's look at that from the top nah I don't really want to do that to be honest let's grab these faces back here let's go to the top and we're going to delete them, delete those faces. Let's go to edges, select that loop. Okay. Shift D to copy it and hit X. So we just move it out on X and then E to extrude it and X to extrude it on X. Okay, because that's going to be the rest of our hand basically. Let's go ahead and select linked by hitting L, G to grab move on X get in there kinda close because we need to add a few more divisions on our hand here one here one on all of these basically okay 
that's going to give us uh, a few more divisions for our fingers and we need to do it horizontally as well just like so <clears throat> and right now it, it actually looks kind of messy just like a whole bunch of divisions no big deal let's go ahead and select linked here and W smooth and I forgot an integral part I forgot to add these divisions Okay, let's go ahead and select linked again. W smooth. Okay, we'll just do it once for that. Let's actually scale that up a little bit on Z. And now then, we'll go ahead and select the hand. And we're going to smooth it a little bit, just twice. We don't want to get, you know, two out of hand. Haha, <laughs> two out of hand, yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, and we need to just kind of shape it up a little bit again. Scale it up on Z. G, Z. Okay, that's about right for me. And again, with the fingers, let's actually alt right mouse button on that. S, Z, G. Actually, you know what? It's pretty good right where it is. We're not going to mess with that. What we are going to do, though, is go to vertices. And I actually want want one more division right here. So let's just go to edges. Actually let's go to these edges. Hold down V or hit V and split that. Right along, <coughs> excuse me, right along there and let's fill that with faces. Whoops, undo that. If you were keen enough, you might have seen me grab a face way in the background, which wasn't way in the background, it was actually part of the wrist. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and grab those, go to the top, pull those up a little bit, and go to vertices, do a few little tweaks in here just to get a little bit better shape going on that. Okay, don't have to do a whole lot to that. All right. So now I want to grab basically all these bottoms, not this one. It'll get a little bit confusing as to what you want to grab. So just make sure you're not grabbing one of these ones at the split and grab one of the other ones, if that makes any sense. And let's go to grab it and pull it down in the Z. Let's see, that's where our fingers are going to start coming out. And grab these top ones. Move those up on Z as well. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, these other ones, we're actually just going to grab each of those and scale them up. This is what I was talking about, um, about that uh, meaty area between the two fingers. We actually need that. And let's actually go to the top and pull those out. And that one, just a little bit. There we go. And this is kind of, kind of a rough, rough draft of our hand. Okay, well, the hand, though, we're going to need to do a couple tweaks to that. Primarily, one of the things we need to change is the thumb. Thumb is going to come down a little further, and I'm not. Gonna, we aren't. We aren't going to do a really, really heavily detailed mesh here. Let's smooth that one twice. Okay. And actually, this meaty part of the thumb right here actually comes out a little bit more. Let's just grab those and smooth them. Alt-S to scale them away by 